It's Perp right here, and welcome back to another video. Today, as you can see by the title, we're going to be talking about school experience or like high school experience, etc. I'm basically going to start from like what I can remember. But anyways, if you do enjoy at any point in time, do remember to drop a like and subscribe and also leaving a comment and stuff like that would mean an absolute ton. And join my Discord if you have not already. I don't mention it too much. Anyways, we're going to get straight into the video and, you know, kind of talk about what the title's about and that kind of such. Hopefully we don't lose the Bed Wars game whilst doing that. Regardless, I think this could be a, you know, a nice chill video for you guys to watch. So I hope you guys do enjoy it. So I'm basically going to start from like what I can remember of like going to school and such. I got some kind of computer award at the end of the year in like third grade. I don't really remember what it was or anything. And I don't know if I still have it either. But that's like the oldest thing I can remember when it comes to like school and stuff. Um, the next memory after that is probably like fifth grade. I used to get in trouble like a decent amount. Like I wasn't even like, I wouldn't say I was like a bad kid or anything. I just somehow got in trouble a lot back in elementary school, like from kindergarten to eighth grade, but it was more like the upper years, like qu closing in on like graduating eighth grade. But in like fifth, sixth grade, somewhere around there, like I really got along with one of the teachers and she became like the vice principal or whatever. So I didn't end up like seeing her that much anymore. But I just remember one time I went to the principal's office after she became the vice principal she got me out of trouble and i basically just like sat in her room and just talked to her for a while instead of sitting in detention or like in school suspension or whatever you want to call it so i mean that was pretty nice of her to like let me get out of that oh my gosh the gray guy is so annoying and then somewhere around sixth seventh eighth grade ish i i don't know exactly when it was like 2014 from what i can remember i i started like doing youtube and stuff and like I was really passionate about it like I was just like a small Minecraft YouTuber at the time I mean I'm a small Minecraft YouTuber now but it was like a little bit different back then I guess oh my god I just lost all my emeralds and stuff but it was a little different being like a small YouTuber back then during school especially when you're like 13 14 years old and you don't really know what you're doing actually 13 14 now that I think about it a few days after my 13th birthday I believe it was and like I've been doing it on and off ever since but in high school, I got like, so freshman year, I didn't have a phone or anything. And like, I kind of just like went on, I, I got pretty decent grades. I would say nothing like extraordinary though, but the, I mean, my grades were decent. I'll, I'll say that much. I didn't really try in school, but I never really did try in school. I guess like I've never been the type of person to like do homework or study for a test or anything. So it wasn't like a surprise to me that I didn't want to try during high school. And like, I've always had the thought that I would like never want to go to college. And I still have that thought to this day. If I end up needing it someday, obviously I'll go. I'm not going to like be that stubborn about it. But at the current moment, I don't think I'm going to be going. Like I said in one of my other videos, like just college just doesn't seem like the best choice for me to do. Like maybe, maybe on down the line, it might be like something I want to like do or for like a job or experience or just you know more knowledge in the future but at the moment like i'm just chilling doing my own thing i i didn't have a, a phone freshman year and like my grades are pretty decent uh i didn't i've never really been the person to like have like irl friends like yes i had some people i talked to during school but i wouldn't really consider that like an irl friend just for the reason that like i never went and hung out i never like went on dates or anything either so it was kind of like it's kind of like an awkward kid i guess you could say not like su super awkward like i i could talk to people in cl like a few people i i got along with like in classes and stuff that i've known since elementary school because i've been going to school with the, i went to school with this one dude from kindergarten to like senior year like he's literally like two seats across from me at graduation like a week or so ago and like it's not like we got along outside of school though it was like it was like a school friendship and like it, it's nice to have those i know some people like hang out with their school friends and such like that but i was never really that kind of kid or never really that kind of person i just didn't really like it but one thing i can remember from freshman year was we like, smashed my ipod because i had an ipod but i didn't have a phone so i kind of just sat on my ipod on twitter all day and also on the first day of school freshman year 
I literally told everyone that I had a, like a Minecraft channel, and I had I was like I've. I was just like, I have like 3,000 subscribers. This was on an old channel, by the way. This is not on my current one. But, hopefully we'll get back there soon. But, I was just like, I have 3K subscribers. Like, I'm a Minecraft. I play Minecraft. I, I make videos. And, like, I, I, I was literally proud of myself. Like, yeah, it was like one of the most awkward things I've ever had to do. Because we basically had to give an introduction of ourselves in homeroom on the first day. Because the first day was kind of like an introduction day. So it was kind of weird, I guess. I don't know if they're still going to be... I don't know if they still do that. But it was the first day of freshman year. I can see why they would want, like, people to introduce themselves. They don't want people to be shy, you know, be more comfortable around, like, the school and, like, with the teacher, like, homeroom teacher or whatever, since it's, like, a... A lot of kids are scared when they go to high school. I mean, me included. I'm not saying, like, I'm out of the ordinary. Like, I wasn't scared. Like, I'd say most people are scared when they first go to high school. So it's kind of just something that happened. But yeah, I had the iPod. In the last week of school, I remember smashing it. Which was really weird. Like, it was like out of the blue. So, basically during the year in like gym class and stuff, we would like throw the iPod around. And it would never break. So it was just like, we threw it around. It wouldn't break. It was weird. Oh my god, I won the game. Okay, I'm gonna finish the iPod story and like the rest of the stuff in the second round. So I'll see you guys in a momento. Alrighty, boys, we're back in the second round. So I'm gonna finish the iPod story real quick. And I'm sorry this video is kind of all over the place. It's just like rambling. I've never really done a story time commentary or anything like that. So it's kind of just like off the top of my head. I would I didn't really plan anything for this video. I just thought it would be like a good like thing to mention like how school went for me. Like I've had some good times. I've had some bad times. And, and we'll get to that, but basically the iPod thing, so the last, like, week of school, we, we smashed it. Like, we, we thought it would be funny because it would never break when we would throw it down in gym class and stuff. So we just, like, went in the bathroom and threw it down at the ground, and, like, we didn't think it would break. So we just, like, threw it at the ground, thought it would be fine. We thought it would be funny because, like, they would think we broke our phone or something, or they would think I broke the phone or the iPod, but, you know, they probably would think it's a phone. So they would think I broke the phone and it would be like a oh my god I'm mad moment. So that's like exactly how it went, but it actually broke like The 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 iPod like the screen actually busted so we picked it up and I was so disappointed But like it ended up being fine because it was getting old anyways and like I'm pretty sure that was the last generation of iPods. It was like, it was one of the six or the fives. I don't remember what the last generation of iPods was, but they don't make new ones anymore. But yeah, so we kind of broke it and I was pretty upset, but then we ended up just like saying, hey, whatever. And we just poured water on it. Someone almost burnt their finger, which was kind of not cool. So the next thing I've got to say it would be sophomore year. And it's when I got in a lot of drama on YouTube. So my YouTube was still a thing. Uh, my original channel had got deleted. Um, I still never really, I mean, I know why, but it wasn't anything like too serious. So it wasn't like, a, it was like a big deal for me. I literally woke up the day that channel got deleted and was like crying. I don't even think I went to school that day because it, it was just like an emotional toll on me. Like that channel was like the last three and a half ish years of my life. And like it, it had like 5k subs, which isn't a lot by the way. It's it's a good amount. It was definitely a good amount for like the age I was at the time But Dude, I was so distraught that day, but regardless I got in a lot of drama on YouTube that year and Like got exposed and I got grounded and I really was not happy with life and I really showed it with like how I like took school because I would like Not do work or anything like I would just sit in class on my Chromebook because we had Chromebooks from like eighth grade. We were the first class in eighth grade to get Chromebooks. And I would just sit on my Chromebook in class and think like like I would just be mad and I would just sit on Discord and like talk to my old friends since like I got grounded and I didn't have my computer for like a year and a half. So it's pretty much the same way like from mid sophomore year to like the beginning of junior year. I just really was not happy with myself. And like the things that I've done and I'm gonna avoid because I honestly don't know where the yellow guys at right now But I just wasn't happy with myself. So in terms of like memories those years Nothing really too good happened. I was kind of just like bummed out all the time 
and really didn't know what I was doing. But you know, I got through it luckily and we're still here today. Senior year on the other hand, it was all right to be fair. I, I got my computer back like the first week of school, I think it was. I I don't know. I got my computer back really early in the year, senior year. Um, you know, senior year was going great. And then if we all know what happened, the corona stuff started going on. But no, I was having a pretty good year. I wasn't really trying in school. I was kind of just like getting through it because I was like, I was so over it. And I've never really been a school person or like a learning person. And I don't really get along in like public situations very well. So I was kind of just trying to like, you know, strop my way through school, I guess. Luckily getting out of the year like two months early or honestly, cause I was I was at a very bad mental state by the time the corona thing happened so i'm really glad it did happen yeah it's a horrible thing that happened but i'm really glad it did happen because i was in like a weird position where i i there was like a possibility a small possibility of me failing the year because i genuinely gave up doing work and just you know i just gave up with school and i didn't know what i was like gonna do about it I probably would have ended up pushing through anyways because there's no way I would have wanted to repeat the year. That would have been worse than just like doing the work. So there's no way I would have ended up repeating the year. I would have like found a way to get through it. But luckily the corona thing happened. And a few honorable mentions throughout my, my school years was this one time I went to the dance with like... So there was a school dance. This was in like 7th or 8th grade. Oh... Uh, we both died, buddy, already. So, yeah, there was, like, dance in, like, 7th or 8th grade. I don't remember which. And my, like, stepsisters were going to it because I used to go to my dad's house. And so I went to the dance because, like, I didn't want to be at home, like, bored by myself. Because it was either go or sit at home and be bored uh, by myself at my dad's house. And I didn't really like my dad's house too much. So I didn't want to go. So I went to the dance with my, like, stepsisters or whatever. And honestly, I didn't think I would know anyone there. I just kind of wanted to go for, like, the freaks of it, I guess. And I ended up going. My cousin and stuff. My cousin and, like, a few of her friends ended up going. And, like, uh, it wasn't, like, a dance at my, like, school. So not a lot of people really knew me, I guess. But I luckily, was my cousin was there. And, like, a lot of her friends knew who I was. And I was... Oh, my God. That guy's an idiot. But I was never really, like, I don't know. I, I don't know why I went. And I regret, like, I refused to dance with anyone. Because, like, a few of her friends were like, do you want to, like, dance or whatever. And it, I don't think it wasn't, like, flirting, like, or anything like that. It was just, like, like a nice courtesy. Like, hey, I know you're not, like, here with anyone. Or, like, blah, blah, blah. Do you want to, you know. I guess they were just offering, I guess, to be nice. Which, you know, thank you to them. But I don't know, I kind of declined them, and like, I felt bad. Well, not at the time, I was kind of just like, eh, whatever. But then I ended up feeling bad afterwards, because I was like, dang, I'm not, <laughs> I don't know. I, I could have been like a ladies' man, you know? I could have like, got the women. No, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Absolute joke, absolute joke. Please don't take me seriously. So, I mean, that that happened. I don't know. It was like weird. I, I didn't really know too many people there. I knew like a small group of people that my cousin knew, and that's about it. And it was just really awkward experience but like everything socially in my life has been in like a, one big awkward experience so am i surprised no i'm really not i want to be able to break his bed but he can easily go and break my bed right oh can i break the bed can i break the bed please 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 oh please 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 for the love of the lord Ah, ah, oh, I died, I died, I died, Boom, got him, easy, dog. Anyways, um, that's about it for this video. Uh, I'm sorry if I'm really bad at, you know, talking about things and that such. So, yeah, basically, from there on, you know, I just finished senior year, corona, whatever. Uh, a lot of, like, shy, awkward things happened, but a lot of, you know, thought, you know, it, it happened for the better. You know, things happen, things go on. And then I graduated, and now we're here, boys. So, if you guys did enjoy it at any point in time, do remember to drop a like, subscribe. Please, please tell me how bad my commentary was. So, peace the freak out. Goodbye. Like the way you rock early, think that we should lay, yeah.